Uh, we were talking earlier on, guys, about the fact that Conor Ben is back. Not fighting here, Malik. Not yeah. fighting in the UK, Kate, as you know, but fighting in Orlando, Florida, because the Florida Commission has said yes to it. And he gets back in the ring this weekend, almost a year and a half on since his last fight. He comes back after all the controversy that has gone before him. Mm. Earlier on this morning, I want you to tune into this. We heard from the General Secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, Robert Smith. And we said, so Ben's back, but in Orlando. What do you think of that? I'm not surprised. Obviously, he's not licensed by the British Boxing Board of Control. I understand he's licensed by a commission in America. They must be satisfied as to everything's in order. I presume they've done their investigations. And if they're happy for him to box, there's, um, you know, it's up to them. From your board's perspective, are you comfortable? He fights in the States. And as a board, have you given him your blessing to do that? Uh, well, the only communication I've had, Jim, is from journalists in Florida and the Florida Commission asking what the situation is, of which I've gone back and said he's not licensed by the Boxing Border Control. There's an appeal in process, and until that is dealt with, um, we won't be um, obviously can't give permission for him to box in this country for sure. If they're happy for him to box over there with the investigation they've done, which I don't know what they are, then ultimately it's up to them. That's the trouble with no world governing body, Jim. You know that as well as I do. <laughs> Kate, I noticed you're listening very closely to that. Mm. You too, Mally. I mean, Kate, you first. Should Ben be fighting at all? I don't know. Boxing is a weird sport, right? There's always mm. somewhere that you can find a loophole that you can be approved yeah. and it can be legitimate. Um, I f should he be fighting at all? I, I don't know. That's difficult for me to say. I think... Um, the way everything played out was was super disappointing. I, I'm interested to know: is there a timeline for the British Boxing Board of Control to to, to look at this again and to and to give him They've permission appealed. to fight? What's happened is he has been relicensed. Oh, sorry, taken his suspension off mm. because they got it. They used a jurisdiction issue, which said the VADA testing could not be assessed by UCAD. So technically, they've got him out from underneath. The British Boxing Board of Control said, "Well, hang on a second, you can't do that. You have to go through our." obligation which is strict liability you have to account for what's in your body and you haven't done that so they've appealed that so they're now waiting for the appeal date to contest the very cleverly constructed arguments put together by Conor Ben's highfalutin mouthpiece <laughs> I, I'm not saying I, I agree with it or not but I, I don't I don't think it's anything new in boxing you will always find fighters who go to a different state to be approved where they can't get approved it's in, in it's another a good state point. That and they will yeah. be approved even if he didn't get approved now somewhere else it eventually you know, he would if somewhere. it wasn't Florida, yes. it would yeah. be Texas be or wherever. I mean, who or what, Malik, is the Florida Commission? Uh, they say yes. Here, they say no. Some commissions say yes to almost everything. And, you know, without saying too much, I'm going to say Florida is one of the commissions. Exactly well, right. I said much. Florida <laughs> is, a commission, is one of the commissions that says I mean, you yes saw that in Memphis everything. when Tyson fought Lennox Lewis in yeah. the pyramids, which I went to. I the only place part. he could go. Did you fight on that night, did yeah. you? I must have seen you. I was sitting next to LL Cool J in his white spats. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and uh, and it was a picture a of that. Very, very hot it. night. Yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. very hot night. And yeah. the, but the, in yeah, Memphis, they had the ability to be able to give Tyson the license and no one else would give it to him. Yeah. Mm. Once again, that's the South. You can get away with anything mm. down there. Like you could be 25 and 0 and fight somebody 99 and 2. Literally, <laughs> stuff like that goes on. So, Malik, here comes a big one. Uh, how widespread is doping in your sport? Oh, it's, it's, um, mm. uh, it's not tough to speak on because, you know, it, it, I don't want to come across like, uh, this is a thing that's okay. But I will say this, I'll say this about that. This is a usual thing. Um, a lot of it is behind the curtains. And I also believe that this is the, w w the people that get caught in these, it's just their first time getting caught. I don't think, I don't believe it's their first time actually doing it. Um, and it's unfortunate that the, the price to pay for these things is not, I agree, I, I agree with Derek Chisora. I think you get caught with anything, you should have a 10-year ban. A 10-year ban? I think you should have a 10-year ban. And in boxing, that's a lifetime. So that's indirectly saying I think you should be put out of the sport. But then I have a side to me that believe everybody deserves a second chance. But my real irritation with all of this is that in the history of any type of doping and anyone being caught, no one admits and say, yes, it was me, guys. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have did that. I was wrong. Yeah. Everyone is innocent. <laughs> like I don't know. I think it's a matron thing. 
<laughs> I'll leave that one hanging. I'll leave that one hanging. Were you surprised? That was the time. Thank you. Were you surprised that Hellenius would deny that? Of course. Were you surprised yeah. at Hellenius because he fought your boy previously, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. He's gone in and failed. And I think we we were surprised with Hellenius. Me and Deontay talked about this is because you know Hellenius is like he was like one of the guys that was very close to our camp, so he heard how we feel about doping and how we feel about fighters getting caught. And it and actually doing it. So when we heard about that, it was a bit disappointing. And mm. you know, but of course, can't stop these grown men from doing what they want to do. 